Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday the 29th of August 2015 and uh, this is a look at a video by Space Cowboy 1954. Uh, I was asked to take a look at this video today. Um, I have seen this video posted previously um, but this particular upload is actually a re-upload and re-edit by Space Cowboy 1954. As he says here, he first filmed this in uh, 2010 uh, back in uh, August, I believe, and um, he has re-edited uh, the video. Um, I have seen screenshots from this video posted elsewhere on Facebook and so on, claiming to show two sons. It's pretty clear to me what's going on here. Um, we're seeing, obviously, we can see a lot of cloud, and what we're seeing here is that the, uh, the sun's disk is um, mostly obscured by these cloud banks, and there are a couple of um, breaks in the cloud that the sun's disk is shining through. So we're going to take a closer look at that, but before we do, uh, let's just have a look at Space Cowboy's channel here. It tells a bit of a story. So I'm going to um, scroll right up the top here. Space Cowboy 1954, and you can see uh, this video here, uh, the one that we're looking at, Two Suns in the Sunset, re-edited with new evidence of UFOs. And if we scroll down, he's got a lot of different videos here. Uh, we can see that um, one year ago, fake sunset the ev evidence updated 12th of January 2014. Now that video was, has received 1,176 views so far. It's the, um, the same video, um, re-edited, re-uploaded. And as we scroll down... Um, Fake Sunset Between Fake Clouds, I believe that's a different video. But when we get down here, we see the original video back from August 23rd, 2010. Two Suns in the Sunset, original, August 23rd, 2010, UK. And we see that this video has had 1,221,000 views. So I'm sort of thinking to myself that Space Cowboy... Uh, would like to um, sort of uh, resurrect this video because of the number of views that it's previously had. It's obviously been a most viewed video on his on his channel with over a million views on that video alone. So um, let's take a closer look at the video. And what I've done is I've imported it into one of my video editing programs, Pinnacle Studio, so that we can scrub through the video from beginning to end. So you can see I've got it set to the start there. This is for grabbing still frames off the video. Now unfortunately I can't make the um, the preview viewer any, any bigger in this program, uh, but it'll give you the idea. So I'm going to scrub through this video and um, we're going to see some interesting things. And what I want you to notice is the, the range of the zoom on this camera that Space Cowboy is using. And uh, we can see as I scrub through that... Um, there is quite a, a, a large range in the in the zoom. So, you know, there are times when we're zoomed right in, like here, and times when we're zoomed right out, such as when I go to the middle here, I've got it marked there with a marker. So it's zoomed right out, we can see that the the range is actually quite large. So we can go from the from the moon being sorry, the sun being a very small disk, um, a long way off to being very large like that okay now it's it's very clear that there is a lot of cloud in the sky I mean there's no den denying that uh, in his most recent video he's talking about UFOs and pyramids and and creatures and all sorts of things I'm, I'm I think he's just trying to talk up the video because he knows that that will get views because people like the mysterious don't they so let's head down the other end of the video and uh, look at where the, the, the so-called second sun appears. I'm just bringing this back because he points out there's no um, narration on the video, there's just music, so there's no point in me playing the audio on it. So it shows where, where the, the sun disappeared in, into the behind the cloud bank there. Okay, uh, let me bring that back. Okay, so just at the top of the frame there you can see the sun is disappearing behind the, the cloud bank. Okay. And, uh, and then there's a big cloud bank, so you couldn't see anything for a while. 
and then five minutes later, as he says, he was expecting the sun to emerge down around about there. Okay, well, the thing is that the sun doesn't set straight down. Depending on your latitude, uh, and whether you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, the sun is either going to come in on an angle like this, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's going to come in on an angle uh, like this. Um, so let's just run that forward. And so there is the sun emerging underneath the, the cloud bank. Now, it's important to, to take a note of the features on the horizon, the trees and, and so forth, because um, with familiar features like these, these trees here, you can get an idea of how far we zoomed in. That will give you some scale. Okay, So here we can even see it looks like a power pole or a power pylon or something like that there. And uh, just while I zoom that back out again, you can see you've got this major bank of cloud here, this very dark one, and then off in the distance you've got another bank of, of cloud further away. And of course the sun is behind all of these, and that's why this this top edge of the cloud bank is, is illuminated there brightly. We've got a little gap there. So let's bring this along. And and there is the sun emerging now. So remember as, as the sun is, is coming down on an angle like this, um, then you know, where there's a gap there, then as as the sun's disk comes down, then you're gonna see more of it emerging in these other gaps. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Okay, so it's not two suns. Remember that, that zoom, um, we're still zoomed in quite a way here. We can tell by the, the features on the on the horizon there. So if we could actually see like an X-ray um, view through the, the clouds there, we would see the sun's disk like, like this. Okay, so it's just one big sun's disk shining through breaks in the cloud. I've seen this sort of thing myself. So it's not two suns at all. Now, the other thing that should be pointed out with videos like this that supposedly show two suns is that we're all looking at the same sun. It doesn't matter where we are in the world. If you can see the sun, it's the same sun that, that people can see elsewhere on the planet. We're not looking at a different sun. So if there were two suns, if there was another sun next, next to the real sun, it would be visible from all over the planet. Um, but you notice how these um, these videos usually uh, include a lot of cloud. <laughs> you know, seldom do you see a good supposed two suns video with with a clear blue sky. And the ones that you do see with with a, a smaller object next to the sun um, tends to be an internal lens reflection, which can be proven by doing the finger test. You know, I've done other videos uh, on my channel showing the finger test where you put your finger out, hold it in front of the sun and, you know, between the sun and the camera and see if the second sun disappears. The other part of the finger test that you do is to hold your finger over where the second sun or other object appears to be and see if it's superimposed on top of your finger. Because obviously if it is, it shouldn't be. <laughs> and if it is, then it's an internal lens reflection, which is quite common in the iPhone type cameras. So there we have it. Um, Mr. Space Cowboy seems to be trying to resurrect this video to try and get maybe another million views. Good luck with that. Um, but that's what we're seeing. It's not um, two suns. And uh, let's go back to his, his um, first video there. And on this tab here, because he says down in the description, Since filming the two suns in 2010, I've had a barrage of abusive comments and due to the fact that my editing skills were pretty limited at the time, I've decided to re-edit the footage, and to my amazement discovered that this is not two suns, nor is it one sun, but a giant UFO and some smaller craft. Wow. There also appears at 4 minutes 12 seconds what appears to be some kind of alien creature in the clouds, as well as a giant pyramid behind what appears to be two suns. Wow, talk it up. Space Cowboy, you might get more views that way. But anyway, let's go to uh, 412 and have a look at the, um, the the creature that he was talking about. Uh, what did he say? 4? 412, what appears to be some kind of alien creature in the cloud. Okay, so let's have a look at 412. 
let's play it. Okay, so it's pointing it out. There is the alien creature. It's going to do a rewind in a minute. And here we go. Here's a rewind. So it's going back the other way now. And what is it? It's cloud. Little wispy clouds. I mean, come on, space cowboy. I know that you're appealing to the gullible, but uh, you've got a sky full of cloud, and uh, you're calling them alien creatures. Oh, well, you know, I guess it's all about views, isn't it? So there we have it. Um, not two suns at all. It is one sun shining through two gaps in the cloud, and that is what is causing our two suns. Um, I mean, just by scrubbing through the video, you can really see what's going on. Uh, when you're presented with a still image, and you've got no sort of um, indication of what sort of zoom is being used, sometimes it's it's hard to get an idea of, of what you're really seeing on, on the scale uh, of the field of view that you're looking at and so on. But um, when you can see that there is such a large zoom being used, where, where was it? Where the, there we go. You know that's that's a huge zoom. So now I should point out too that the the sun's disk is only half of one degree across. Most of what we see in the atmosphere is um, is glare. Um, it's the light, the sunlight is being scattered as it comes through the atmosphere. Um, but if you use a, a very dark welding lens or a proper solar filter you'll see that the sun's disk is actually a lot smaller than, than it really appears in the sky. Of course, you shouldn't look at the sun directly because it'll damage your eyes. And um, if you're going to check the size of the sun, you should use an appropriate filter. So there we have it. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.